I have four kids. I have a 10-year-old, an 8-year-old, a 6-year-old, and a 3-year-old. I'm from Utah. And uh, <laughs> my 6-year-old son, Drew, a couple months ago, I'm sitting at my kitchen counter. If you were sitting at, there with me, I'm in my kitchen. I'm looking at my phone. I'm responding to an email or a text. I'm not paying attention. The refrigerator's kind of back over here behind me to my right. All of a sudden, I hear Drew. He's 6. He goes, Dad, can you open the fridge? No, he's six, he can open the fridge. So I didn't look up, I just said, Drew, you can open the fridge. And then I hear Drew behind me go, Dad, open the fridge. And I'm like, what is going on? So I turn around, I look, and Drew is standing there holding six matchbox cars in his hands. Now as his leader, I have two options. I can motivate him. Drew, you can do it, buddy, try harder, try harder. Or I can remove the obstacles and help him do his job. I said, Drew, put the matchbox cars down. He put them down. I said, now open the fridge. And he's like, oh my gosh, I did it. Like he's never done this before, right? That may be the simplest example I could give you, but I think it makes the point. Here's the truth. As leaders, we spend most of our time focused on motivation. And I think the reason we do is because it's easier. It doesn't require that much of you. It's pretty simple. If you think of leadership as just motivational cheerleading, just cheer people on, right? Go get them, guys, run, go do it, go do it. Here's the problem. If there's a wall in the way, they don't need your cheerleading. They need you to move the wall, right? You can't just go, no, run into the wall, and boom, they hit the wall. Okay, we'll get back up, run faster this time. Like, put your shoulder into it. Maybe that wall will move. No, we have to actually move the wall, right? We have to figure out what's stopping our people. And here's the thing, there's times that it's systemic, right? Through the organization, you might go, what are the sticking points? And you might figure out some of those things that we need to clear the runway a little bit. But more often than not, leadership is individual. And so the way you figure that out with your people is you actually have to lock arms with your people. You have to get in the trenches with your people. You have to actually partner with your people and figure out what's stopping them. And it's about locking arms with them. Motivation is important, but it's overrated. How do you remove those obstacles? How do you remove those inhibitors? How do you make those people better so that they can show up and do the job well every single day? When you partner with your people, what you ultimately create is more leadership.